Mr. West Dickens. Ah, Mr. Marston. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Nearly, sir. Very nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Ratskeller Park. <laughs> Follow me, John! It's not too far to that killer park! Come on! Slow hey. down! Ah. How are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his way, nor bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set.
king he saw he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> Time! We must go! Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave him too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, <clears throat> when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Huh? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival.
Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on. Let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. And I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell is the trap? <laughs> All Let's gonna do this! <laughs> Take them down, my friend.
Work here is done. Godspeed, gentlemen. I bid you tell That's the last of them. We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! Gentlemen, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You got sense of urgency here, please? Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Let's get the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen! These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way! Oh, my good lord above! There must be a hundred of them! Mexico yesterday morning. 
You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's going to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. We're in Mexico. How should I know? Oh! You're in Mexico, you little shit! <laughs> Some place near Chuparos. <laughs> he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. And just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. 